This video demonstrates the proper termination process for the OCC Category 6A Shielded Jack OCC Part Number K6AS. Contents of Category 6A Shielded Jack include jack housing and color-coded lacing cap. After we've gathered our tools, the first step is to strip one inch of jacket from the shielded cable and wrap the drain wire around the cable. Here we're using a UFTP cable in this demonstration. If you're using an SCFTP braided shielded cable, the braid should be folded back over the cable jacket. For T568B wiring, trim the foil on the orange and brown pairs to one half inch from the cable jacket. Trim the foil on the blue and green pairs to one eighth inch. For T568A wiring, trim the foil on the green and brown pairs to one half inch and the blue and orange pairs to one eighth inch. Once foil is cut, the remaining foil can be easily removed by hand as shown. Once you have removed the foil, orient the wire pairs into the correct position according to the T568A or B color-coded label on the wire manager. Insert the conductors into the color-coded slots. The first two pairs will slide into the wire manager under the bottom two pairs. Trim the excess wires using diagonal cutters with flush cutting edge. Now that the wires are flush with the lacing cap, install the cap onto the connector base by aligning slots with connector IDC contacts. Rotate the hinged cover onto connector base and squeeze the cover with toothless parallel pliers until the tabs snap securely in place. Ensure that the drain wire is inserted through the slot in the connector body and making contact with the cable strain relief on the hinged cover. Lastly, insert the cable tie through the slot and tighten it around the drain wire and cable. Cut the excess cable tie with diagonal cutters. Now you have completed the termination for the OCC Category 6A shielded jack and it is ready for insertion into any OCC KMJ faceplate or OCC Category 6A patch panel.